Are we live? We're probably live. So, y'all. <coughs> you, you gotta move so you can be paint. I know I said we're gonna be running like super late. Um, Have one like this and one like that. Please. I haven't changed it at all. Because mm, I do it, right? Why would I change it that low? You're the only ones that use it this low, baby. I'm just saying. Am I no. correct, people? Am I correct or no? When they pop they up and tell you that. See your popping up and. See your pop up is. Mm. Should I just try to do fire? Or make them all different colors? I like how it looks all multicolory. Right. Hey, New York. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. New hey, York. Hey, Unique. New York. New York. Moose. Not the time. So, it's true, Shy. Someone has to. The puppies did it. it probably was Bowie. We're going multi. Scandalous little self. We're going multi. So, tonight on the agenda is to change this smoke painting, which is Schmirk. wonky. Smoking a band. Um, from black and white mono to Pr pretty much rainbow. It's gonna look like rainbow <laughs> smoke. In theory, who knows? Um, date night was awesome. I stayed out way too late, and I used the dude filter on Snapchat way too much. I think I freaked out Jeff a little bit on that. Let it me was, get the other. It piece. was pretty um uh, ooky. So ooky. If you want to call it. <laughs> Thanks, Margaret. So. Um, I'm gonna go get the piece that I did last night and show y'all how it's set up. Shut up. So, um, we'll be right back. After a word from these sponsors. They're not sponsors. It's just us. It's our logo. Whatever. All right, so we have mm -hmm. Lucy. She's right there, right out there. Right there. Right there. Let's make it to where everybody can see the. That makes All right, so. Did you see I recorded my five foot articulating camera thing, Teresa? I didn't, but I will. I'm a slacker. I had a piece from yesterday. Oh, it's like awesome. cells and cells and cells. Drop it. Drop it. Cells on cells on cells and try not to hit you in the face. And all the good parts stayed where am I? Alright, so we never tried this, or I've never tried this. Um mm. to the point where you just put um Alcohol ink over non, uh, what do you call it here? What's it called? Resin. <laughs> oh. One of those days. Um, so I'm gonna clean it with alcohol. Hi, Miss Lamb. Right, I love all the cells. Robin, Kayla, what were you spraying on a Bowie. Okay. What are you spraying on? A board or acrylic? 
This is, uh, right now, this is just resin that we did um, a couple nights ago. Bowie beans, come here. And I'm not gonna sand Bowie. it because I want it to be super smooth for Bowie. the alcohol inks. So we're gonna see how this is gonna react to nothing but um, alcohol and alcohol inks. Oh my God. Clean it off so that everything is nice and clean because you don't want any fingerprints on here. We won't be able to clean it once the alcohol ink is on here. Yeah. All right, nice and shiny. Hey, Don. Is Charles with you? Tell him I said hi. I don't think I'll need this, right? Um, it's gonna stain all up your fingers. But why? I'm just dropping it. Mm, okay. I was talking about the video where he made the smoke. He used black spray paint, but I didn't catch what he was spraying on. So it was a resin painting on canvas. It was already like basically board straight when he decided he didn't like the piece, sanded it, spray painted it black. What moves? Cujo. All right. Ramona, there's a calculator online to figure out how much resin you need for a piece. It isn't always entirely accurate because there are variables that change, like the warmer it is where you're at, the thinner your resin will be, therefore the less resin you need. Conversely, when it's really cold in your environment, Conversely. the thicker the resin will be, therefore the more you'll need. Also, how many colors Let's do this. Uh, makes change. a difference in how much you're going to need. What boys? What can I help you with? What can I drop my life for for you right now? What? What? Okay. All right, so that's a little easier to see. Wait. All right, so. Um, ooh, we went to uh, Home Depot and got some thin masonite. And we're going to go up to Makers right after this. We might even go live. Um, and cut some coasters, some circles. We can so figure out how to work it. We can try to figure line. out how to work it and um, just get used to using it. And hopefully people will see us up there and be like, hey, what's Hi, up? Julie. You guys need some help, blah, blah, blah. Um, why yeah. does this look so dark? Because everything is black. Could be. Oh, once the color gets on here. So yeah, so we can make some of those and so we can start selling them for a cheaper uh, coaster <sighs> thing. I'm, you know, it'll be uh, kind of fun to uh, just make some cheaper coasters too. Yeah. Yeah, smash that like button. Thanks, Shay. All right, so I think I'm just gonna start at one end and we go down. Oh. Mm. We're live. We're Babe, live. We... I'm, I'm trying Ever. to adjust this so that it's- It's gonna move everything. You guys can see the whole thing. Nope. I know, I know. Hold on. Hold, please, hold, please. Sorry about the moving around. All right, I think you guys can see the entire thing now. Pretty much. Not you can see it on Lucy's side. All right, it's darn shadows. All right, so we I should just put the the alcohol down. And then I'll just put, put it the in colors. the area that you're doing it. All right, so 
Let's do this. Let's put, let's put Lucy over here so you guys can see what's going down. Or we'll just put Lucy on top of the canvas. How about that? All right. So here we go. There's Judy. Judy. All right. So we're gonna put. I'm just gonna okay, put man. a little bit of alcohol down. I'm gonna start with. I think I'm gonna start with yellow. Is this yellow? Yeah. This is mid yellow. a little blending solution in there too, right? Just to kind of give it a different texture. Resin, does the colors mix like the acrylic paints do when they're poured separately? Um, I would have to see what you're talking about in terms of mix. Like, if you can send me a final piece of what you are talking about, I can help you with um, how it would look. Shoot me an email, foreignartistful.com. Oh, it does do it in layers. That's fun. Always running. It's highly suspect. I know. <laughs> Y'all, this little boy like kicks it up into high gear, and I'm like, "What? What did you? What? What did you do? Where?" Let's just try Throw some blending. alcohol at it. That probably scared him. This blue is like super light. Like it doesn't do anything. I don't like that at all. How you keep the colors separated so they don't blend together. So as long as your resin isn't too thin, your colors will more than likely stick to themselves. It's when you heat your resin too much with a torch or with heat gun or whatever that it um, thins the resin and starts to blend with the other colors. Kind of like with an alcohol, nope. Um, an acrylic pour, the more water you put in it, the thinner it is, the more likely it is to mix with the other colors. I would um, show you, but this is alcohol ink, so no. That's correct. So if you use less alcohol, it will thin it out less. Nami? Nami. It's like...
But then you have to put... Hey, Angel Heart. Hey, Ocean. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Um, pinata inks are more pigmented, they say. Yeah. I got a bunch of pinatas. If you need. Okay. Well. I'm using whatever. Like, it's so. I get a yellow, because I want some yellow in here. This yellow is not. No, they fell out. Dang it. Okay, let would be super awesome if these tops were colored. I hope all of y'all have had an amazing day. I think this is gonna be a pretty awesome looking piece B. I don't I don't think so. I don't like how uh, I don't like how the color's not showing up like I thought it would. What do you like what? Like I want it to be like super vibrant. Like that's ten times vibrant. Vibrant. So why don't you add just a little bit of the white in there? I don't know if that would ruin it though. I don't know. I don't know. Miss Lamb says, I loved it before, but now I'm in love. I hate that. Wait, I can't get to it. I didn't say stand up. Oh no, Leslie, I'm sorry you have the flu. I'm glad you're here, Cindy. Butterscotch. Let me see if I can find it. You know, this doesn't blend. Like, they don't blend. Um, they just kind of. Are you using the blender? Dry up and. Well, that's probably because the resin's pretty warm at this point because you're using the heat on high. I got it on low now. Yeah. Here's a pinata yellow. Hey y'all. Jacqueline, just give it some time. Working with alcohol links, the first few times I did it, I was like, this is a horrible idea that I will never revisit. But, I think it's just like with any medium, the more you fiddle with it and experiment. That's what I like about experimenting, like, because you can figure stuff out that nobody has done. They're messing with my shot glasses and my skulls.
sleep, it's okay. It's okay. <coughs> no, that's enough. You're gonna work yourself up, you know? It's just like it's turning orange now, and I want it to be. <laughs> just jello? <laughs> it just took it all away. Yeah, um, you use a blending solution, it's drying up on you. Um, use your airbrush to move it around. So the airbrush is on the opposite end of the studio. We have this, though, if he wants to use it. Lynn says her dog's barking at Cujo. Dog tizzies are very scary, so I, I want to keep move away from all tizzies. Do you have Baja Blue and Pinata? I believe I do. I have a lot of pinatas. The yellow looks great. The any part you don't like, you can put alcohol on just a rag and wipe it off. You like look. Exactly, Amber. What's the problem? Mm -hmm. I think it's looking pretty great, but. Well, also that heat gun can be turned down to have zero heat coming out of it as well. So manipulating it with, um, this is a good color too. Um, manipulating it with little or no heat isn't, it's not a problem because we can turn that, that down. What the offending thing is. What are we barking at, Bubba's? Show me. Come here. What's the problem? What's the problem? You can tilt it into your piece. Like how I thought it would be. The blue looks kind of nice, but very thin. Females, tissy. That's an insane forecast for in Northeast Wyoming is eight to 12 inches of snow. Nope. <coughs> Excuse me. Hi Robin, we are amazing. Heather, um, do you know how heavy of paper you got? The lighter, the weight, the less heat you need to use, the heavy will like um, warp a little bit, but it'll come that. back down. That looks awesome. But that's how you do it. It'll come back down. Um, and the light ones, they're going to warp and stay that way. So be careful with how much heat you add. Let's see, why didn't I do that in the first place? Look at that fade. So fade, but you can wipe off what you don't like and refade. Scarlett says, "I love watching Jeff art." Hey Donna, what's up, JJ? It looks like one of those crayon drippy. No, I shouldn't have done that. Strip some blending solution and.
Tell Maddox we said hi. That she ain't cheap. That's funny. Also true. Carol, you resin for the first time yesterday? You mean since the class? Shai said, I like it. It looks gothic. Made too much resin, spent two and a half hours making coasters. However, you had a working time of two and a half hours, which is immersive. So yeah, so the way to do it is to put it on Put your colors on. I would put like alcohol down, put your colors down and just tilt it and just let it go. Cause look at that blend, like oh, let it blend I together. Know what that was. And it's real smooth up here instead of all chunky back here. You see how different that looks? So what I would say, the reason that most likely happened easier up here, aside from the fact that you put a lot of alcohol on it and shifted it, is that this was hot already and this was cold when you started it. So it like got on there, blended, and like... I had nothing over... I didn't do anything. I did all that down here and then moved all the way up here. And this just dribbled down because it was leftover uh, alcohol. So what I would do then is... Um, Take alcohol on a rag and wipe what you don't like off and do the this method there. Oh, or no. Oh, that's the porcelain stuff, Judy? I think Judy gave me some of that masking fluid. Do you, do you want to try it on this? Look. It's going to get into your I'm going to I'm going to take all that out, I'm sure. I just wanted to see what Well, there's your blend. Yeah. There's your problem. Then go sideways. That looks crazy. Boom. You have made fire. Where the F and all the Efferson, Efferson, Efferson. Hey, Bobos. Whoops, sorry. I got you, Liz. Now that's really cool. Oh, wow. Here I'll start. It looks really good now. This is looking sir. Super tilt always helps everything. <laughs> that's Jeff's go-to. My go-to is swiping. Jeff's go-to is super tilt. Holy fireballs. That's looking sick. Now that looks cool. Wow, awesome. Now resin it and do it again. Yeah. That would be an awesome name for this piece, Judy. Where there's smoke. You get it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Liz has a different take on it. She said, Jeff, it looks like clouds at sunset. And uh -huh. seeing it that way, it definitely does. Amber, all the colors, I'm in love. Not one color. But man, I love it. Well, that's that's kind of our style here on AT Dur. 
put the lid on that. That's it. That's it. This is not it. When in doubt, super tilt. That should be one of your shirts. Well, if people would buy it, I sure would make it. Oh yeah, Doris? Hey Tracy, looks like lava flowing. It does. Northern Lights also does. Okay, I'm gonna come on. no tizzies. Up here's not for you, boys. Turn that up. It's not frozen. Sorry, y'all. Jeff is adjusting the color hue. Um, there we go. You can see the yellows now. Looks good. So. I had resin everywhere, no cells. Send me a picture, Carol, so I can see what goes on. See if we need to adjust anything. Do a moon, yeah, resin, this. then do clouds yeah. over top, and that would look bananas. I agree, it would. Let's see here, I'm gonna try something with this. Oh, that's awesome, Doris, that's always a plus. Right, Teresa? JJ said, whenever Jeff is holding the mouse, now my eyes start darting around looking for tricks with the logo. <laughs> funny, you're funny. Well, thanks for saying that, Amber. That's what we are here to do for sure. was the first layer of the smoky white and then you put resin on it did the black look smooth under the resin so and the first layer of it was actually white resin and clear on top of a spray painted black canvas that was the first resin layer the only resin layer. The only layer beyond this one was adding resin and white on top of a black spray painted canvas. You could do a dragon mouth like it was breathing fire. True. Beautiful Jeff says Scarlet. She is definitely a great help for us. Hi Rachel. Life is better with ATD. Thank you, Lynn. Did the alcohol affect the black at all? Not one bit. Not one bit. Sandy, thank you. Somewhere? Thank you. Really appreciate that, Sandy. Who's all going to be in the June 1st and 2nd class, asked Robin. Um, we are gonna have um, a couple. At least six or seven now. So we're going to have some new people, 
some people that were at our very first inaugural class, the OGs. I'm super pumped. Did anyone win the logo challenge? Yes. Mike B won it. Thanks for stopping in, Julie. That's really cool, Jeff. Scarlett, how much resin for a 40 centimeter round? I'm glad you're asking her instead of me. Love that middle fade. So, like, how would we do, like, how would we get rid of... Awesome, Theresa. Hey, Glowfish, thank you. See, like, it has to be all one. So let's say we just cover this in alcohol, right? Mm -hmm. Then you put a dark, a light, a lighter, and maybe just like a fun contrasting color and then another color like just all the way across. So then it starts to kind of blend and then you tilt it all together. So it's, there's none of this. You're not, you're doing all the entire piece at the exact same time. Do we have anything that time. has white, just basically white? Well, why don't we just wipe it and just try it again? Because it looks awesome. Well, we, we can always make it again. Mm, just leave it. Um. Look. How many more? It was 122. That looks really neat. And I think we should put a top layer of resin on it. Take this. Okay. Um. This feels thicker. Oh, no, Scarlett says you will need... 0.44 liters of resin. Awesome, Mar. I'm glad it finally got there. Don't destroy it, right? That's what I said. Shatter resistant, lightweight. Yeah, Leslie. Um, Carol's in Australia. Talk for a second. I'm going to go see if we have any predominantly white. Pieces. Lexan. Okay. Polycarbonate sheet. Does anybody work with lasers and can we use this stuff? Do you want to do it over um, this one? You can at least see the fade. It's a lot of white. Uh, sure. I don't know what else do. We'll do it over your piece of device. No. Something like this. It's what if you did it on the back side? It would not show through because it would just show through on here. It would change all these colors and this would show up. We have a smaller one? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. We're gonna do it on the we're gonna do it on this one. This is gonna be a fun experiment right here. Unless you want to change the color of that earth tone one. Mm -mm. So he's wiping it off with an alcohol rag because we have had it just sitting a boot for a while and it has collected dust and who knows. Grime. Look at that. That's from spray paint. That's way too hot. Yeah. This. I'm pulling it. Sorry, y'all. One second, let me fix the color on that one. sitting for a minute. All right. That looks good. Got one. All right. So, my theory is just to cover it all in alcohol and then just put your colors like almost a rainbow but not touching. If that makes sense. I think they're going to touch because you're going to put so much alcohol on it. Well, eventually they'll just kind of blend together, which obviously that's what we want. I'm going to put a rag down here so it kind of 
catches all the extra. I'm going to put this fire away. Donna, what was your question? I'm sorry, I've been walking around. I have, well, I had it on top chat, now it's on all chat. I'm so sorry, Donna. What was the question? Rachel's rocking her ATD 2019 tour shirt today. We're going to do some new, new shirts for our new Florida new. tour. All right, I got an idea. All right, Donna, I'll go back and see if I can find it. Yeah, Ocean, it was a resin piece. Donna, it may have pulled it because you did it in all caps. I'm not seeing it at all. Um, I'm watching for it, though, if you could ask it and not do all caps. I bet it just... Sometimes when you use just all caps, it auto-blocks it. Sandy says, Donna, another layer of alcohol ink will remove the prior la layer. Um, so if your question was, can you just add another layer of alcohol ink over just the layer of alcohol ink, that would be the correct answer. So anytime you add anything with alcohol in it, on top of something with alcohol in it, it's going to adjust how it looks. So if I took a an alcohol ink painting off my wall that I didn't seal in and added anything with alcohol to it, it's going to move and flow and completely change the look of the piece. Adding anything alcohol <laughs> to an alcohol ink piece will reactivate. Oh, wow. It'll reactivate any alcohol under it. so crazy watching it all shift on the camera. That yellow's like, I'm here. Right, K. Miranda? Oh, not alcohol. Then I really misunderstood what the question was. Resin in a mold with mica powders. Okay, what about a resin in a mold with mica powders? Jeff does resins, mm -mm, molds with resin that has mica powder in it all the time. And it works just fine. You guys, make sure you have no fire around when you're doing this. That's Unless you so design. The overhead's blown out. Just color, it's just like <laughs> Yeah. Okay, I put way too much glitter all sent to the bottom. So Donna, sometimes um glitter has different weights to it depending on the size of the glitter and what it's made out of. So there's poly glitter, there's metal flake glitter, there's makeup grade glitter. All glitters have different weights depending on what they're made out of and sometimes even what color it is. So stick with So if you drop a pencil and it makes a mark, that's gonna be Look at it with that sparkle over too it small under it. Let me see if I can so I don't know if you can see the size of this glitter. Maybe hopefully it'll focus for them. No, not gonna focus today. Cool. 
So if you can see the size of glitter in this, that's about the size you want for it to stay floating in the middle of your resin. Can I layer over that? Can you layer over a resin piece that you just took out of a mold? Right, Ocean? Well, there's your blend. Mm-hmm. That's awesome, crazy abstract. Jeff is in his happy place. It's just all glitter. Does it seal it somehow? Heather, are you asking about this piece and alcohol inks? Miranda's inspired. That looks cool. I'll post a piece on your Facebook page. That's awesome, Donna. Please post it and I will see. I mean, you can see that it's blended. Oh, yeah, yeah. We'll do a, uh, I'll do a true color. Adding fire to alcohol inks definitely makes a cool effect. And I'll, I'll have Jeff do one when we move this. Um, when you use fire with alcohol inks. I'm not inks, any fire on this table, babe. There's so much alcohol on here. Not even under the paint. Okay. That's a good idea. <laughs> um, so using fire around alcohol inks, you have to be very careful because as you know and the reason why fire does awesome things on alcohol inks is that it's highly flammable because there's alcohol in it so whenever you use alcohol inks with fire make sure you're doing it on some metal pan or sheet or aluminum layout away from all things flammable <laughs> what are you? Oh. How does he? Look how do you even hear him? Look at him laying on it. Just his little. Sup? It's got to be hot. Okay. Show them the little man. Oh. It's too dark over there. Hold on. Bully. <whistles> Busy. I'm out of here. I got my cup. Okay. On a Tuesday. It's still blown out. Well, I don't know what this is on. You just have this on to do it. You have to press OK over here. Okay. They probably can't even see them. <laughs> Beautiful sure to look awesome when you put resin over it. I'd love to do a... Hi, Dorian. Just a thin coat of resin. Right, Scarlett? Link it for her. As a moderator, you can add links now. Sorry for all the movement. Absolutely, Robin. Thank you. All right, we're done with this. Bowie, Bowie, Bowie. Oh, babe, our car's down front. <gasps> yeah. With the hazards on. Yeah. <sighs> okay, I've forgotten. Which trick are we talking about? Scarlet, I know I just said it, whatever it was, but. What were we talking about? Oh, adding a link. I know, isn't the fade super amazing? <sighs> okay. Um, so just open another page in your um whatever browser you're on watching this video and type in YouTube, search for that video. When you find it, right click the URL, which is the top of the video, the www, and then just paste it. 
in the comment box down here. So anyways, hopefully that helps Scarlett. If that hem makes no sense whatsoever, shoot me a text. So tonight we're gonna go up to Makerspace and see if we can figure out this laser cutter so we can do more awesome things for you guys that won't be crazy expensive because if we can do it ourselves, it cut up the middleman, just get rid of that and alleviate the cost of shipping because those acrylic sheets are hella heavy. And it's just expensive. And it's expensive. So we're going to try to figure out how to do it ourselves so that we can keep costs low and do some new, new stuff for you guys. Can you do a close up on that circle thingy? It's amazing. Sure. So that is the center of Reunion Tower. Well, let me get Lucy up. We have a video of them making of this piece somewhere. We use Just Resin's Halo Glitter in that piece if, as well, if you're wondering where those sparkles came from. I'm trying to do this without getting those three lights in it. I know, it's so, it's so bright, like. Okay. Babe, you're moving that around way too much. <laughs> you're gonna get sick. So, come over here with your light. It's not. It's, it's just gonna be too dark. Chloe is so crazy. You are crazy, dude. It's true. It's true. He's crazy. It's like I pick up something off the floor and he's like, uh, I was gonna chew on that. Uh, excuse me. I have a question for you. Okay. My pleasure, Carol. So, you guys, if you want to see what we're up to tonight, hit us up on Snapchat. The link to it is right here for not on Snapchat. Sorry, it's where we go, like, live in real time. Right, Teresa? It's exactly where it is. So, um, if you have any questions beyond this, comment below or shoot me an email for an artist You're going to have to sell the buy things because... He's already standing on the bar like, is it time? Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you for coming. Thank you for showing up. Thanks for just hanging out for this short little doo-wop. Um, I'm glad I did that. I'm glad I figured out, like, you can kind of just put down some alcohol and spread it and tilt it. Because trying to blow it around with the hair dryer, it just, it, yeah. it doesn't work at, well, heat gun, whatever. Um, it doesn't work that way. So... Thanks for hanging out. Um, you guys rock and be kind to one another and um, just be kind. You never know what somebody's going through. So with that said, you guys have an awesome, awesome rest of your week. We'll see you tomorrow. It might be a little earlier than normal because we have a class at Makers and Cujo has another doctor's appointment. So we will um, see y'all tomorrow. Bye.